how to tell the gospel to children. Even naughty children. I have children. I don't preach to them. But tell them a story based on the stories of Jesus Christ. And there are books available which talk, give stories about Jesus. But the most powerful message I preach or share. Is about a little boy. His father. And a little dog. The story is like this. The little boy is sick. He has been sick all of his life. Most days he has to stay in bed. Because of the sickness. His father is big and strong. But his father loves him. It's his little boy. The father would do anything. For his little boy. Because of love. The little boy would lie in bed and look so painful, so sick. And one day the father is coming home. And he sees this shop. And in the shop they have a little white dog. That has one little spot on the back of the dog, a little black spot. So the father goes in and buys this little puppy dog, this little small dog. And he takes it home to his son. And he gives it to his son. The little boy looks at the dog. Even though the boy is sick. He opens his eyes. He sees the dog. He smiles. Then he goes back to sleep. Later he wakes up because the dog is licking his face. And the, every time the boy fell asleep, the dog would come and want to lick his face and wake him up. Because the little dog wanted to play. And the little boy would play with the dog when he woke up. And some time passed. And as time passed, the dog grew up. And the little boy would sit up in bed and play with the dog. And then one day, the little boy got out of bed. And he played with the dog on the floor. And as time went on, more time, more time. The boy would play with the dog, even go outside. 
This made the father very happy. 那么这件事呢，就让他的爸爸呢就很开心。Because he could see his son was getting better. 因为他可以看到他的儿子呢，就是越来越好。And the father would say, "That's the best thing I ever did." 嗯、uh, ，他就会说啊，这是我所做的一切事情当中最好做的最好的一件事情。And we need to remember the father loves this boy very, very much. 嗯、uh, ，我们要记得，就是说这个父亲呢，非常非常的爱他这个儿子。And the father loved the dog too now. 那么现在他这个父亲也非常爱这个狗。The little boy would pick up a ball and throw the ball. 那么这个小男孩他就会拿一个球，把这个球丢啦。And the dog would run out. 那么这个狗呢，就跑去。去捡这个球， Pick up the ball, 捡这个球， bring it back to the boy. 然后又把它带回来送给这个小男孩。And see, this became like exercise. 所以这就是做了一些呃练训练，呃就是。And the, the boy became stronger. 那么做了一些运动，那么这个男孩子呢就变得更加更加健康了。But the dog and the boy would always be seen together. 所以就是说，这个小男孩和这个狗呢，他们就是一直都在一起。Never separated. 他们从来也不分开。Everybody would see the boy, would see the dog. 所以每个人看见这个男孩，就会看见这个狗。The little boy decided to leave and walk out the gate of his garden and go for a walk in the forest. 那么这个这个男孩他就决决定要离开他们家这个院子，然后出去到森林里面去。And the little dog would be walking along too. 那么这个小狗呢也会，这个狗呢也会跟着它去。And the boy would throw us the the ball. 那个这个男孩子还是会把这个球丢出去。And the dog would run out, get it, bring it back. 那么这个狗呢也会跑去把那球捡了，然后也捡给它捡回来。And on one very warm day. 那么有一个很很温暖的日日子。The little boy was tired. 那么这个男孩子就好累了。But this was a miracle. He's walking. He's playing. He is getting. He is well. Ah, he is very healthy. 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 He is very Uh, he throw the ball. The dog would go out, get him, come back. He throw the ball, throw it out, and then the dog would come back. But then one time, the dog didn't get the ball. Then the dog didn't get the ball. The dog turned around. He turned around, looking at the boy. Uh, looking at the boy. And the dog starts to go. Then the dog started to scream. And the little boy was sitting on the rock. And the dog comes running at the little boy. Barking, bark, bark. This dog is looking at the little boy. And the little boy is sitting there frightened. Then this little boy is very scared. And the dog jumps through the air. Then this little boy 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 jumps through the air. Because the little boy could not see behind him. Because this little boy, he could not see behind him. The dog did. But the dog also saw. There was a snake. Because there was a snake. And the snake had come up. That snake had come up. And was just about to bite the boy. The dog grabbed the snake. Then the dog grabbed the snake. And they were fighting. The dog and the snake were fighting. The dog was biting. The snake was wrapping around the dog. 就是这蛇呢，就缠着这个狗，这个狗呢就咬这个蛇。And the dog killed the snake. 后来就是这个狗呢，就把这个蛇给打死了。Father came home. 那么这个父亲呢就来了。And the father was happy. 那父亲就很开心。His son was safe. 因为他的儿子呃安全了。But as they're walking home. So when they are walking home, the little dog dies. The little dog dies. Then the dog is killed. Because the snake had bitten. Because the snake had bitten the dog. The father picked the dog up. So the father picked the dog up. They both had 
tears in their eyes. And carried the little dog home. The little boy was heartbroken. But the father knew something very special. He said, Son, you were nearly dead from sickness. You did not have long to live. And I gave you this dog. And he gave you a new life. And when a snake was going to kill you, he gave his life. So you could have a complete life. Yes, I'm sad at the loss of the dog. But I'm happy that you are saved. See, this is a story of Jesus Christ. He came because we were sick. He died on the cross because we were sick. The snake tried to kill him. But he came back to life. So we would have This story helps people to identify. Helps us to realize that God has given us eternal life. We only have to say sorry. And God will give us this eternal life. Because He is the Father who cares for His children. Who loves His children so much that He gave His only Son. That whoever shall believe in Him shall have eternal life but they shall have a good life now. So when sharing the gospel with children I put more emphasis on the story and keep the gospel message to the short conclusion. I have seen hundreds, if, if not thousands of people saved when I've told that story. Sometimes two, three hundred children in China accept Jesus straight away. I've seen four or five hundred people in a meeting in India except Jesus after I told that story. In one meeting in Africa I had sixty or seventy children except Jesus by that simple story. I heard that story from someone else. And I think we can certainly teach children by giving, like Jesus did, we tell a story, a parable, but we keep the conclusion very powerful. God bless you. Thank you.